That's my police. They checking for somebody. They out here. Just stealing. Just killing. Got them boys working overtime. You see what I'm saying? Well, back to what we was talking about. Sorry I had to move that camera like that, y'all. But, uh, back to what I was saying. It's a Sunday. It's not much to do. I'm just out here trying to get everything together for y'all. You know, I really don't have much to say, but the things that I do have to say, I'm really, really disappointed about the way everybody acting out there. Look here, I know it's tight. I know money is tight. But the way that we act in the citizens, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's really a problem. It's really becoming a big problem. You know, if we don't fix this, then who going to fix it for us? You know, kids shot at gas stations, people sitting back doing things. You know what I'm saying? Craziness is just what's going on up in here. I got police riding behind me like this, a military zone. You know, it, it's just sad to see this coming from my city, y'all. You know, we just really, really, really got to straighten up our act. Because we got these babies out here looking at us acting a fool. And when they do that, then what they going to do? They going to act the fool. Because we acting a fool. Because we don't show them nothing but how to fool. Unless you an actor. Unless you on the TV doing something. You know, all that foolishness shit is really uncalled for. All we doing is cheating our kids. Like, hey, we just savages. They can steal and shoot and disregard any and everything. You know? People like this just fought for nothing. You know, I provide a service. A free service to that. Because I don't ask nobody to shoot no videos for me. I don't ask nobody to give me no, no, no gas to go to my shoots. I don't ask nobody to give me no plane fare to get to my shoots. I don't ask nobody to give me no hotel fare. All I just say is treat me fair when I treat you and your people fair. I work with a lot of famous artists, and some of them are not. But to the same degree, I show everybody love and respect. Just as I expect to be shown. But the way that the things are in this city, man, it makes it just, it just makes it unrealistic. That a city that I was born, grown up, raised in, they just robbed a, a preacher, and today is Sunday. He came all the way from Texas for a revival. Now we about to make national news because Detroit just had a visitor from Texas that just came up here and got all his, all his tires dropped. They dropped him on bricks. He's on bricks. Man can't even, poor man can't even leave the city now. That's what we represent. Man is at church worshiping God and we sitting out here ripping him off. Took his tires. Whoever the fuck you are that took that man's tires, you know what's going to come at you. Because the Lord don't like the ugly. And I sure hope you got on everything to protect you. Because you ain't got nothing but the devil on you, baby. I want all of y'all out there to do me a favor. It's about 45 minutes, but I'm going to have this on before 45 minutes. I want everybody out there all around the world that look at this. That look at Mr. Sand 44 Man. All of you, all my fans out there, I want you to look at Lester Holt today on Dateline NBC. That's NBC anywhere you live. Doom, doom, doom. Watch today. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. From there, you can predict your own time zones. I don't have enough time right now. But you got to check a look at this, especially our colored and our people that are, are, are of European descent. Because it really concerns us too. You really want to see why so much bitterness, so much hatefulness in the world? You really want to know why black folks acting a fool? Watch Lester Hall tonight. Dateline NBC. I'm about to go in the house now because it, it, it's just sad, man. Sit back, smoke me an L, probably have a little something to drink, put this on for y'all, and watch what Lester Hulk got to tell me. Because right now, man, I step out my door, and I can't even do a broadcast with you unless I had the police pull up. And they looking for somebody that stole a bike, man. Own a bike. So this nigga riding up the street with a bike. 
they own him, man. They own him. Like he done shot somebody. But even though my neighborhood might be a little safe, I don't even consider it a little safe. Because the niggas can do the same thing here. It's a doggy dog world, y'all. Let's take a time on this Sunday. And whoever is out there that stole that reverend's tires off his new Ford Explorer, I hope you somewhere and on the internet that can see this, man. Because you need to learn what black folks have been through. And all us black men out there, realize where we come from. Realize what a white America did to us and treated us and still to the day treat us. But it takes cats like me to work extra fucking hard because y'all don't want to work at all. You rather go and let the state take care of your asses. All cooped up in a fucking penitentiary with a bunch of hard leg ass niggas. I hate number 193, 172 because that's my old number. Five fucking calendar years I put on that motherfucker by the state. Don't tell me nothing about that foolishness, y'all. I went from shit to Shinola, and I'm still trying every goddamn day. And when you give up trying, you give up on yourself. This Sandman, y'all, I don't even want to get upset no more. Holla at me later on. I got a video shoot going down at the HQ, the 20th. After that, the 24th, I'm headed down to Cincinnati, Ohio. So if I don't pick y'all up the rest of this week, I got you tonight. Check it out. Cut out the bullshit. Check out my video. Go on YouTube. Stop all that horse ass talk bullshit. Talk about cockering, cracking somebody fucking head out here. Get some knowledge in your ass. I got a lot of shit. And thanks to all my viewers out there. Because Sandman in less than a month and came over 1,000 viewers. Shout out to all y'all viewers out there. Because somebody out there like what I'm saying. And I'm going to keep saying it. And I'm going to keep keeping it real to us. Because we owe it to ourselves. Stop bullshitting yourselves, black people. And look at this channel on Dateline tonight. This is Dateline NBC. It's going down. And I'll holler at your boy, Mr. Sand. Capital M, small R. Capital S, small A, small N, 4, 4. Capital M, small A, small N. Hit me up, y'all. Going in the house. Put some more words out there across the WWW for you. This is Sandman. I'm out. Mr. Sand, 44 man, is on the air.